in her red sequined gown. She walked towards the river bank so silently, the only sound her feet could produce was the silent tick on the clock, a reminder that she was one minute from house and hell in her fiercely stunning soul. First, she'll wrap hell around a palm. He will remind her that Lucifer was once a saint before his bloody desires were in vain. Next, she dares not shout, for she will whisper under her breath, sweep her desires beneath her tongue, so the sparkling stones on her sequins will fall, enraged to the grave like her peace and sanity. Those tiny little lights were all the hopes she had left. Idemma, a free prisoner relishing the bars he feeds her. A cheerleader stuck in a traumatic dance contest with her ringleader, Jehu. He calls her to the stage, confines her purpose to the ring and tells her that she can only glow with him being her halo. <laughs> Idema ran from her proposal to that river bank with her yes hanging loosely in between her teeth jehu had just served the question in a bowl of what she knew that if she drank from that bowl her life would leave her on the altar to rest she ran from everything the light the people the aesthetics to find rest and as she gazed upon the river most strangely she said who places the sound on the tongue of the wind to bring peace to restless hearts? Who commands the taking hands of the clock from a distant flood to fold dusk into dawn, fast forwarding the hours of sorrow? I am a shattered mirror, searching for my reflection in every broken piece. I am morning dew. Dissolving every shade of clarity in my breath. Chaos and confusion scan your codes on my toes because I am the embodiment of your encryption. Dear water, if I keep standing here, the weight of my pain will crush my bones to the dust. But if you allow me to stay on you, I will float in your deep please wrap me in your cold arms fold me in your raging feast transport your elements into me and lock yourself in the cages of my dying reefs storm me with your chills and guide me safely to your surface of true love allow me settle there until my body reaches for your death. See, I have craved this feeling for too long because I desire to dwell in you. That's where my wandering soul will pause. That's where my thirsty spirit will be satisfied in its hunger for you. Idemma, you won't leave me hanging here, would you? After all we've been through, Idemma, after all the promises we've made to each other. Once again, just behind her, her ring lead her, pulled her back to the ring and got her walking into his arms. But immediately she turned to meet him. That water. That weaver formed into a living, breathing soul, the living water. The source of love she desperately desired dissolved into a charming man with utmost grandeur. Oh, it was a glimpse of heaven. He was standing there, smiling at her waiting for her to just be persistent a little, crave hard enough and just turn back to run into his arms of complete rest. But as she tried to turn back, Jehu 
wrapped his hand around her neck so romantically and stiffened it.